India, a land where the natural and spiritual world are interlaced, providing sustenance to body and soul. This is the place where fire, animals, trees, mountains and rivers are revered as gods by countless millions of people. And among these, the most worshipped and revered is India's lifeline, the river Ganga. But unfortunately today, Mother Ganga, who means life itself for some 500 million people, is in serious trouble. Every day, 3 billion litres of toxic chemicals, sewage and countless tons of trash are dumped into her divine waters, destroying her beautiful ecosystems, killing wildlife and threatening the health of millions of men, women and children. But hope remains. A new era dawns in Mother India under the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan and great innovations are available here and now which can spell huge and lasting solutions to the pollution. Some, such as the Scavenger 2000, solar panels atop canals, blue frog systems and more are awe inspiring new technologies that only a few years ago were the stuff of dreams. Others, such as natural biological systems, biodigester technologies and biosand water purification systems use the wisdom of nature to clean and beautify wastewater into wanted water. All these technologies can not only revitalize our national river but will aid in making India a global innovator for the entire world to see and emulate. The Scavenger 2000 is a cleaning boat from the pages of science fiction. Here, you can see it at work in Miami, USA as it scoops up tons of trash but that is not where things end. What is left is water like this. Here in Boston, USA is another trash taming technology, the water wheel. It uses this simple system of booms to siphon trash directly to this vessel which is fueled only by river and solar power. Here in Brazil, a harmless extract from tree bark is pumped directly into the Pineros River, a lifeline for water-hungry Sao Paulo. Researchers say this may prove an excellent solution for nalas which can be cleaned of sewage and toxins as the water flows by without needing to divert dirty waters to an expensive outside treatment plant. Blue Frog technology is a simple looking but effective in-river system that cleans water sources of sludge, sewage, toxic chemicals and other pollutants without the need for an outside treatment plant or chemicals. Researchers say these blue frog devices can prove a valuable solution to clean up foul nalas, dirty rivers and other areas in a simple and cost-effective way. The beauty and grace of plants holds a powerful tool against pollution. Everything you see here was planted by the hands of man in order to decontaminate water polluted with sewage and toxic chemicals. The water in this man's hands before it entered into this created wetland was highly contaminated. Now it's nectar. Not only do these wetlands called natural biological systems work but they are cost effective require almost no maintenance and create poetic canvases of lotuses, whispering reeds and more for all to relish, turning what was a polluted bane into a place of great beauty. All the while, because a great deal of people living alongside and visiting the Ganga don't have toilets, new solutions must be found to protect her waters. Biodigester technology by DRDO is a perfect low-cost solution for treating human waste. Through a process that uses all natural, harmless bacteria, all sewage is converted entirely into biogas for fuel as well as harmless clear water that can be used as an excellent fertilizer. Nature has a unique capacity of its own to reproduce, refine and recreate. Biosand water purification systems were thus inspired by this very fact. 
Used in over 60 countries, this technology is WHO approved and saves and protects countless lives every day. Every year, 50 million trees are cut in India for cremations alone and countless dead bodies are dumped into the river Ganga every day, putting at risk the health of all living downriver. But a new solution can stop much of this. It's called an eco-crematorium. These crematoriums use just a fraction of the wood that is needed for regular cremations, yet can cremate a body in one-third of the time. Flowers are a symbol of love and softness and rarely can be imagined as a source of power. But now, flower power can be used to curb pollution. Every day, the temples alongside Mother Ganga generate countless tons of discarded flowers. What to do with them? Make biogas. All the while, great amounts of trash are thrown into the Ganga every day by cities, villages and travellers. This threatens wildlife adding to dangers of flood and adding harmful chemicals and bacteria to her waters. Instead, this waste can also be converted into biogas, which can potentially power entire municipalities using technology that is readily available. In addition, plastic bags like these can be converted directly into petrol as they are made mostly of petroleum products. As another ingenious technology, for turning waste into wealth, the Janki Omni processor dries out human sewage and then uses it as a fuel that directly creates energy by firing up furnaces. At the same time, it purifies water to such a high quality that even Bill Gates agreed to drink it directly from the sewage treatment plant. Solar and renewable energy such as wind and biogas are vital to keeping Mother Ganga clean and solar panels atop canals are another ingenious method for preserving water while generating power for all. A program similar to the Asha Health Worker Program can be developed so that women and other citizens may become the health workers of Mother Ganga using smartphone-enabled testing kits that can enable anyone to sample water and send the data to the world through the internet. Children can be especially enticed to plant trees alongside the Ganga through a school-based My School My Tree program in which students can plant and nurture their own fruit trees which will in turn nourish the students with their sweet bounty. Every day, some 90% of Mother Ganga's water is being extracted for agriculture. Sadly, up to 50% of this water is lost due to wasteful irrigation methods. This results in less water in a river to dissolve the pollution that contaminates it, leading to decaying ecosystems, disease and death. That is why methods such as drip irrigation, which use far less water, must become standard for Mother India. Mother Ganga is not just a water body, she is our mother the foundation for our very culture and the life support system of our great nation. If Ganga dies, India dies. If Ganga thrives, India thrives. So let us all stand together to revitalize our national river by our intentions and actions. It's time we ourselves become the solutions to the pollution in River Ganga.